In an average human, basic life processes require energy to be supplied at a steady rate of 100 watts. What daily energy intake in calories is required to maintain these basic processes? So, 100 watts. What does that mean? So, a steady rate. So 100 watts, maybe let's rewrite this into the units that it makes up and it'll be a little bit easier to understand what's going on. So a watt is a joule per second. So if I were to write this like this, 100 joules for every one second is the same thing as what I just barely had. So what they're really saying is in order for just an average human to stay alive, we need a hundred joules every second. And then they want to know how many calories we need to make that happen. So first off, let's just figure out how much energy this would be throughout an entire day. So we know how much energy that's going to be in one second. So let's go on now and change this to minutes. So we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, of course. And now let's go further, Just continue that on. Okay, so now we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. Now the minutes cancel. And there are 24 hours in one day. Okay, so now if we go ahead and t f figure this out, so we have 100 times 60 times 60 times 24. 100 times 60 times 60 times 24. That gives us, that gives us 8, 6, 4, zero 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 so we have eight million six hundred and forty thousand joules per day so that's how much energy we have to come up with in calories obviously that's going to come for food come from food I mean and so we have eight six four zero joules per day but we want calories per day so up in the when you're doing your homework up in the top right hand corner where there's a little gray bar that says resources if you click on that it'll have a drop down and if you go down to constants it'll open up a new window that'll be kind of helpful uh, just give a lot of helpful information for you and if you scroll down a little ways there'll be a, a blue heading that'll say conversion factors and so that's one of the one one of those in there is what we're going to use right now. They tell us under that heading that in one joule there are four point. Whoops, I, I'm doing this backwards. Okay, so they tell us that in one calorie there are four point one nine joules of energy. All right, so now our joules are going to cancel and we're left with calories per day. So we take 8,640,000 and we're going to divide that because it's on the bottom by 4.19. And that gives us 2,062,052 point. We can go on 506 calories per day. Now if you're like me whenever I was working out this problem, your first reaction is probably like, holy cow, hold on, what's going on? That has to be wrong. There's no way anyone obviously is ever going to get anywhere close to 2 million calories per day. And you're probably smart and see what is going on already. We're talking about little C calories here, but we want big C calories. Obviously you probably talk have talked in class about how when you look on the back of your food and the nutrition facts and they tell you there's 1500 calories in whatever you're eating they're talking about big c calories 
which is one big C calorie is a thousand little C calories. So we're not quite done. So we know that there's two million so odd, some, <laughs> can't talk, two million sixty two thousand fifty two calories per day. And so if there are a thousand, there are a thousand calories in one big C calorie, we're essentially dividing this whole thing, the two million, by a thousand, or we're, same thing, just moving the decimal place over three. So our final answer then is we have 2062.1 big C calories per day. And then with the significant figures that they want in uh, mastering physics, that will round to 2100 calories per day.